Okay, so now for this, we'll just do idle animation. To do a comment, what I'm doing here is uh, two forward slashes. They'll give you a comment on just this line. If you want to do a comment that comments everything until you tell it to stop, you can just do a uh, forward slash and an asterisk and they'll comment everything until you do an asterisk forward slash. But we don't it's not necessary for us right now. So idle animation, and we would do if we can just copy this. If not keyboard underscore check uh, D. Whenever you have an explanation mark, it's basically checking you if you're not pressing it. So here it's checking if you are pressing D. Here it's checking if you're not pressing D. So we can just copy this part here actually. actually. So we can just copy this. Oop, forgot the parentheses. So we'll just copy this and paste it three other times. And that will do A. S W. I mean gonna take this out. Now for this we'll do set some variables real quick so we're going to add another event uh, which is will be the create event so whereas a step event executes 30 times a second or however um, whatever your room speed is by default it's 30 the create event basically runs this code only once and that's whenever the the players actually created and put into the room so here we this is probably the best place to uh, put all your variables. So we'll do direction equals down. And we'll, we'll do that. So whenever you're doing variables, are most likely set with with uh, with numbers. But you can also do it with words, and the best the best way to do that is with uh, you have to put these quotes, quotation marks, and so now here we'll do direction equals down. Now here, okay. So here we can check. We can, since we're checking with the if event or step, we're basically checking if we're not pressing any of the the movement keys. And now, if we're not pressing any of the movement keys, we're going to check what direction we're facing. So if direction equals if direction equals down then we'll change the sprite spr spr underscore player underscore idle 
underscore down. Oh, forgot to. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's sprite underscore index equals. If you don't do that, then it's not going to change the sprite, and you'll most likely get an error. Okay, so now that you have all of your your idle animations set up, we can now try and, and test the thing. Okay, so as you can see, he stops every time we he stops quote unquote walking every time we let go of the key. So right now I'm not pressing anything, and if we walk down, he stops uh, with the animation before. He would he would have kept doing the animation. Uh, it's kind of weird if if you don't like the diagonal movement, we can probably change that later, so you can't do diagonal movement. Uh, in most modern RPGs now, you have diagonal movement. Or in RPG style like this, I guess. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, tune in for more if you have anybody that wants to learn RPG or how to make RPGs in Game Maker. Uh, direct them to the channel. So again, thank you guys for watching.